I'm Dr. Taylor, and in this video, we'll answer some of the most commonly asked questions about anesthesia. From waking up during surgery to long-term brain damage, we'll get to the bottom of it. Let's get started. Question number one, what if I wake up during surgery? In anesthesia, we have a term for this, intraoperative awareness with explicit recall. It is extremely rare and happens in only about 0.2% of patients who undergo general anesthesia. It's really important to define the terms I'm using here. I'm talking about awareness while under general anesthesia, a drug-induced loss of consciousness so deep that you don't respond to pain. You're so deep asleep that you usually need help breathing and the function of your heart may be impaired. When you're under general anesthesia, the deepest plane of anesthesia that we have, it's extremely uncommon to have any awareness. And when that does happen, it's usually in very sick patients or in surgeries that require lower doses of anesthesia for patient safety, such as heart or trauma surgery. There are some things that you can do to help decrease your risk of awareness under anesthesia. Tell your anesthesiologist about all medications that you're taking, including over-the-counter and herbal supplements, prior problems with anesthesia, and whether you use alcohol or drugs, including marijuana, as this may mean that you need more anesthesia than the average person. And keep in mind, there are some surgeries in which it's normal and even helpful to have awareness. Consider your knee replacement under a spinal or a cesarean for childbirth. In these situations, you're usually sedated so that we can wake you up to ask you questions if needed. It is totally normal in these surgeries to remember lights, colors, sounds, and even whole conversations. Question number two, what if I don't wake up after surgery? This is another common question. Rather than fears about waking up during surgery, there are patients who worry that they might not wake up at all after anesthesia. The reality is that the medications we give for anesthesia are complex, but fairly predictable. It's true that they can affect each person slightly differently depending on their age, weight, other medical problems, or alcohol or drug use. But we use these anesthetics all the time and we're very good at adjusting them to achieve the desired effect. Patients wake up after surgery because the anesthetic medications wear off. Just like alcohol loses its effect as time goes on, so too does anesthesia. The only reason that someone wouldn't wake up from anesthesia is because of some unexpected catastrophic event during surgery, such as a stroke or heart attack or a complication from the surgery itself. This is why it's so important to share your medical history with your anesthesiologist so that she or he can do all they can to minimize risks during surgery. But again, for the vast majority of people, waking up from anesthesia is nothing more than just letting time pass. Question number three, will anesthesia cause brain damage? When patients ask this question, most are concerned about something called post-operative cognitive dysfunction. This means that your brain isn't functioning as it was before surgery. This is uncommon for most people undergoing routine surgeries, but some groups of patients are more at risk for cognitive dysfunction after surgery. These include older patients and those with a long surgical time or a long stay in the intensive care unit after surgery. Questions about brain damage also come up frequently in the context of children receiving anesthesia for surgery. We're often asked, will anesthesia harm my child's brain? The most recent well-designed large research studies are reassuring and show minimal or no impairment in brain development in children who undergo general anesthesia. I'll cite them in the description below. But in summary, exposure to anesthesia hasn't been associated with negative changes in IQ score, memory, motor and processing speed, attention, behavior, or language. Question number four, what exactly do anesthesiologists do during my surgery? Answer, we have fun. We continuously monitor your medical condition. We keep track of your blood pressure, breathing, oxygen levels, heart rate, body temperature, and body fluid balance. We keep your vital signs stable using medications if necessary. We make sure you don't feel any pain. We administer all medications you might need. We give you blood if you're losing it too quickly. And we control your level of consciousness to make sure your surgery is safe and successful. 
We also do a lot of work before your surgery. We find out about your medical history, ask about your previous experience with anesthesia to see if there are better medications to give you this time. We review your laboratory test results and we do a physical examination. We devise an anesthetic plan that is safest for you. Click here for more content like this. And please leave your comments below. I'm so excited to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.